All aboard! Final call for the steamship Mauritania, departing from New York. Our trip across the Atlantic will last approximately six days. Ships of all sizes have been carrying millions of immigrants to the United States during the 1800s and early 1900s. Passengers, just like you, have spent weeks crossing the often stormy Atlantic Ocean, all waiting to catch their first glimpse of America, in good weather and bad, seasick or not. With dreams of the future, America holds the promise of a new life and a chance to leave behind the old world in search of hope and a better life in the United States. Hopeful strangers to a new land just like yourselves have streamed to America to escape poverty, hunger, religious and political persecution, willing to risk everything for freedom and opportunity in a new land, facing enormous challenges for the chance to build new lives in what has been described as the golden land, where with enough hard work and some luck, you could buy your own home and send your kids to school. Our ship divides passengers by wealth and class. First and second class passengers are assigned to staterooms and cabins. However, most of our passengers today are third class or steerage. What is steerage? Steerage refers to the part of the ship kept for the passengers who pay the lowest fare. Usually, steerage is in the lowest deck of a steamship. For passengers traveling in steerage, your accommodations are below deck in a large, dark space at the bottom of the ship. Not much fresh air reaches this part of the ship, and the bunks become quite crowded. So make your way up to the decks for some ocean air and sea breeze. Another reason to make it up top is because disease spreads through many vessels, and we've been known to have our share of vermin that stow aboard. During the voyage, however, storms may keep you from coming up on deck. Most people become seasick, and that smell can be overpowering. But storms do not last forever on the Atlantic. On sunny days, come up on deck to take in the sea air. On these clear days, when the sun breaks through the clouds, passengers may pass the time playing music from their homeland. If a song is in an unknown language, hum along. On this journey, chances are you will meet other travelers from other countries speaking different languages from your own. But many immigrants share the same goal, a new life in a new world. Just as the journey seems like it will never end, a small spot on the horizon begins to come into focus, bringing the feeling of excited trepidation as the ship moves closer. There she is. The torch gleaming in the golden morning sunlight is Our Lady Liberty. At the base of the great statue, it is inscribed. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The welcoming statue of Liberty seems to promise that all the immigrants' dreams will come true. As big passenger ships enter New York Harbor, you may catch your first glimpse of what hopefully will be your new country, a sight never to be forgotten. Beyond the Statue of Liberty, passengers will see Ellis Island, a small island in New York Harbor that is the gateway for over 12 million immigrants to enter the United States. From 1892 until 1954, immigrants like you have taken their first steps on American soil at Ellis Island. This will mark the end of your ocean crossing. Now it's time to worry about what new challenges might lie ahead. First, everyone must pass through immigration. You may feel anxious but eager to face the officials who will determine your destiny. With the help of interpreters, new immigrants will undergo medical and legal inspections, physical examinations and interviews. During this process, some of you may be detained for a period of time. The Ellis Island experience can be overwhelming, all the while wondering whether or not you will be allowed to stay in America or be sent back. Are your travel documents in order? Can you understand a new language? Will you answer the question correctly? Are you healthy enough? 
will your family remain together? After all this time at sea, will your dream of a new life in America come true? Each individual who makes the voyage to America has his or her own unique immigration story. Making the decision to leave the familiarity of home and travel to a new land requires courage. Passing through Ellis Island offers new challenges to test your will and resolve. Our American experience is filled with the stories of men, women and children who have faced monumental challenges making their way to the new world, a unique land that holds the promise of liberty, freedom, hope and opportunity. And here is where your story continues.